Welcome to this special edition to the Swarms Battles. This will be featuring the gray tree frogs as usual and their special guests, the white tree frogs. In today's video, they're going to be doing battle with an army of invading black soldier flies. So starting off this wonderful video, we get a chance to see Bane, who is one of the most dominant gray tree frogs that I've ever had the ability to observe in captivity. This is setting up to be one of my favorite clips of the year. Watch this. Right there, you get to see Bane take that soldier fly right out of the air. It's one of the most remarkable observations I've ever been able to catch on live recording. This is truly one of the greatest clips I believe that I've ever been able to document on my animals. So what do you think? Was this one of the best clips of the year for the Swarms Battles? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> he's like, where did it go? Look, he's like looking for it. I wanted to have a little bit of fun there and share the camera's audio and my personal reaction to what I just witnessed Bane do and how Christian, the other great tree frog, reacted. He just took it right out of the air and it caused Christian to keep looking like he couldn't believe it was gone. It's always just remarkable watching Bane catch prey. Look at this close-up of Bane. It's just remarkable how still that he is and just how beautiful he is at the same time. It's just one of the greatest enjoyments that I get throughout the weeks, being able to watch some animals like Bane catching prey, living life, and just enjoying the moments that they spend with me. It truly makes keeping these animals and document them one of the most rewarding things that there is out there. Here we get a chance to display the other great tree frog living with Bane. This is Christian. He's a smaller, feistier great tree frog. And he loves to do some of the most unpredictable things that you can imagine for great tree frogs in any frog in general for that matter. This is one of my favorite scenes because we get a chance to show exactly what a great tree frog would do when it was hunting some type of insect with wings. Imagine this being some type of arboreal setup like a tree or shrubs. And here's a great tree frog that's sneaking up on its prey like we're accustomed to seeing them do in the swarms battles on the channel. And he's trying to calculate when he should pursue his strike on these black soldier flies who have no idea he's there. Right then, he times his strike perfectly and he grabs one of the black soldier flies. And with all the panic and them still flying around, he actually grabs one and he pulls it into his mouth. Here, you're going to get a chance in slow motion to see the entire motion of what just happened. He grabbed one of them with his tongue and he remained still while the panic in the black soldier flies caused one to go close enough for him to grab it and pull down.
Here's one of the most unbelievable scenes I've ever been able to document on my entire channel. When you think of tree frogs, they usually stick to glass and people and all kinds of other objects. I never saw them stick to a metal lid, which is what a normal reptile lid would look like. This isn't something different with glass or plexiglass or anything like that. And gray tree frogs don't have claws like lizards. So this is truly incredible that he has the toe strength to be able to stick his little toes inside the little metal parts of the lid. This was just something I never thought I would see. And the fact that he was able to master this or play or whatever the heck he was doing, I just couldn't believe that he didn't jump down because of how much work this was. But he actually stuck through with this. He turned around and he began hunting the black soldier flies even on top of the lid. Somehow this worked for him. I'm not too sure how or why he would want to do something like this, but he's just displaying how intelligent and how incredible these great tree frogs truly are. They'll use whatever is in their surroundings to their advantage. This whole situation in particular just shows the kind of stealth that great tree frogs have. How he's not making any sudden movements and he's not disrupting the black soldier flies until it's the perfect time to make his strike. He remains perfectly still focused on when he's going to deliver that strike. It's truly incredible seeing the strategy and the execution that these little gray tree frogs are able to follow through with. It's truly unbelievable. And here we're going to get a chance to watch as Christian not only does something extraordinary with what he's doing hanging on the lid, but how it pays off and he's able to catch one of these black soldier flies by doing this new tactic. I thought this was one of the most humorous parts of the video. Here we get a shot at seeing one of the black soldier flies hitching a ride on the back of Christian. And whether he knew it was there or he didn't know it was there, he wasn't making any attempts to try to get it off. So was this one of the most intelligent black soldier flies? Or was he just so clueless he didn't even care what he was landing on? Whatever the case may be, it didn't affect Christian and it wasn't going to harm him because black soldier fly larvae are not actually wasps of what they look like. They're a type of fly, so they don't have stingers, they don't have mouths. All they have is a sexual organ and they look to reproduce before they die. So this was not at all a problem if you're worrying about it stinging him or hurting Christian. He's perfectly fine through this whole encounter. I have one interesting thing I believe Christian has been doing and I need your help possibly as to finding out why he's doing this. So every day from around 8 until 12 in the afternoon I get a chance of hearing from my room the gray tree frogs. I believe it's Christian and it's a low noise. It's like a growl but it's not a mating call or a distress call. But what I do know is it sounds similar to like a territorial call and he's making sure that the other tree frogs know that this is his territory. I've never known gray tree frogs to be territorial, but what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments if you've had any experiences of your tree frogs making these types of noises. I'll be sure to try to document this as soon as I can, but they do it every so often, I mean every day, but it happens a couple of times a day and usually my phone's not out to record. Moving on from the new PA Woods Vivarium, we get a chance to see the Dumpy family. And here is my oldest pet, Max, the female white tree frog. She's the largest and she's also the most dominant of all the tree frogs that I own. Just look at the massive size, and we're going to be going over this a lot in this video. Just how big she's gotten for a four year old white tree frog. She stands out compared to any other frog that I have. And you're going to get a treat watching her hunt, which is something I have never been able to truly document to the fullest on my channel until today.
Look at the size difference of Max compared to the black soldier flies. It's truly incredible. They didn't look too small whenever they were competing against the gray tree frogs in the new PA Woods Vivarium. But let me tell you, they picked the wrong home to invade because Max is ferocious and she is so much bigger than them. She also is an eating machine. I made sure that I added enough black soldier flies so that way Spurgeon and Jeremiah would get a little bit to eat too because Max ate the most out of any frog in this entire swarms battle. Here you get a chance to see the shyest frog that I own. Here's Jeremiah the white tree frog. You're not going to see him for too much longer because he's very nervous and Max looks over because she knows he's about to try to eat her food. So he does the best that he can with trying to please her and at some point here you're going to see him jump down. It's kind of sad that he's so nervous and shy but it's also kind of cute. It's kind of funny how Max just looked back because at first I thought she was looking at me, kind of like what she did in the last video for the Thanksgiving special. But whenever I really focused the camera, I saw that she was looking back because she was about to try to go after a black soldier fly. So she had me fooled at first, but she reconsidered that kind of a jump and she looked up and saw a whole bunch of them close to her. I just thought it was really funny to point out because we'd seen that in the last episode. And here we get another chance to just see the dominance that she shows over these army of black soldier flies trying to invade her home. They don't stand a chance. Finally we get a chance to see one of the other really active members of the Dumpy family, Spurgeon. He's the brown frog on the left. He was indulging in some of the activities with the black soldier flies, but at the end of the day, he and Jeremiah both knew that this was going to be Max's setup. This is Max's home, and Max controls how many different insects you get. Regardless on whether it's fair or not, she's bigger, and she'll fight tooth and nail for it. This is one of my favorite clips of Max of all time. Just envisioning her being in the wild, climbing around, hopping around on well above the forest floor of some type of a tropical habitat in Australia. This just allows me the opportunity to think of how cool it would be to see these animals in the wild. But even though they're not in the wild, it's really cool to be able to mimic something similar to what they would actually be living in. This is another really cool opportunity to just see how the Dumpy family interacts with each other and what happens whenever you dump a massive amount of feeder insects. This was supposed to be their Thanksgiving feast because a lot of the other animals had gotten theirs. I thought it would only be fitting to give a flying type of an insect to the tree frogs. And here's another great clip of Max. It just really drives the point home for me, just seeing the beauty of a white tree frog on a plant that usually grows to be very high, although it's not from Australia. Here we get a shot at seeing Jeremiah's only clip of hunting. This is very important because we weren't really able to document Jeremiah too much on the channel, but here you got a shot at seeing Jeremiah grab one of the black soldier flies, one of his only contributions the entire time.
Nilo 